Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Now we are going to discuss about the product Selection of most relevant input parameters using Waco for artificial neural network based concrete compressive strength prediction model Now we are going to discuss about the abstract for the process The prediction of compressive strength is most important for this application in concrete strength researches So this process is mainly based on the strength prediction for a number of data samples by both convolutional and artificial neural network that is the ANN based model there is a number of methodological and an some of the most effective strength predictions methods are applied but in this process we used an identification of suitable variables for accurate compressive predictions is an important research area with this main objective, we use the Weka tool as well as the MATLAB combined together to give the better results. Hence, this process will achieve the efficient predictions rates for the compressive strength. Now, we are going to discuss about the flow diagram for the process. This flow diagram the first step is the input data the input data is getting from the data set the data set is the folder which consists of the several data after getting the data set the pre-processing will be carried out in this pre-processing step the first step is the XLS to the mat file conversion first normally the input data will be in the XLS format so first of all we have to convert the XLS into an mat format after converting this format we have to align the data as per the attributes after these two steps the optimization will be carried out by using the GA and ANN First of all GA, GA is used to optimize the data Hence in this GA we have following the 4 steps like the initial population then crossover, mutation and then fitness By using these 4 parameters we applying the GA to optimize the data present in the concrete data dataset After the optimization the ANN is applied along with the three type of categories like input layer, hidden layer and output layer by manipulating these three steps we can achieve the results of the better optimization after the optimization we have applying the performance parameters by using the Weka tool so after applying the performance parameters the relevant results will be plotted as a graph format now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure for the process at first open the MATLAB 2015 then change the current directory if you want to execute the file just right click in the main file dot em file and select the option run once you execute the code automatically the process will be done hence the attributes present in the dataset is shown in the figure 1 with the title attributes names after the attributes the data which is relevant to that attribute will be shown in the figure 2 hence this is the data which is covered in the data set after the input data the concrete data will be separated hence the, those results will be shown in the figure 3 that is the table 3 hence the corresponding resultant values will be shown here after getting the attributes then data as well as the concrete data we are going to the trained feature so uh, first of all before starting the training features we have to apply the genetic algorithm for the optimization so in this genetic algorithm the initialization crossover mutation will be processed hence the optimized results will be generated as well as the fitness functions will be generated as per the fitness functions the trained data will be generated hence this is the trained data present in the data set hence the trained data value will be shown like this hence the Weka tool will be open automatically after the GA process hence we have to click the button explore in the Weka tool 
After exploring the Veka, the Veka tool will be open like this. Hence, by using the open file button, we have inputting the data from the MATLAB. Now we have the two kinds of training data sets that is the train data one and then the train data. So by using these two data we get any one input from this data. Now the performance for those values will be generated automatically as well as the graphs will be formed like this. Now the performance of the different attributes will be shown like this. Finally, the performance parameters will be shown like this based on the accuracy. Existing process is 94 percentage, then the proposed process is 96 percentage. Hence, the performance parameters will be plotted as an watchart format.